Greetings everybody, welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy plays Hades. Let's jump into the next run and see what we can find. Alright, one more time. We well, you know what we will find. We will find Demodon here, one way or another. Should have just picked up the coin purse first, but here we are. We can't even give her a bottle of nectar. You bring with you the season of decay, young Zacrius. I guess so. Let's take her Mistral Dash. I think it's actually a bit stronger now, which is nice. Perks you right up. And um, I can't tell but notice. We couldn't give her a bottle of Nectar. We couldn't give her a bottle of Ambrosia. And she had nothing fancy to say there either. It pleases me that you are here again. For through you I can tinker with reality along the fringes that are not yet fully formed. As long as you're happy, I guess. Um, we take, we take, we take the money. You know what, let's take the special. The special is actually gonna be good. Remember, we got the damage aspect, so we can benefit quite a bit from a little bit of extra special damage. Now, we should not step on traps. We should not step on traps twice. We should not step on traps at all. Especially not while that curse is active. There you go. So good care of you. And we are done. Thanks for the dankness. I just want to get to Hades as fast as possible again. Just because I want to finally get some answers, man. It's so good that we have finally been able to meet the mother. That we have finally been able to meet Persephone. Because God knows it was about goddamn time. But we still haven't gotten any answers. Let's take the explosive up on here. We need to know what all of this has been about. What is going on in the background that Nyx can't talk about, that Hades refuses to talk about, and that it gets all the Olympians and even primordial gods like Chaos involved. There is an underlying truth in all of this, and I will not rest until that truth has been revealed, or until the game tells me that the truth will not be revealed until some more Underworld renovations are finally done. I mean, this is the 1.0 release, right? But there's a chance that there will still be more updates in the future. Maybe. Big Hades, he is disagreeable with all of us, not just with you. So don't you take it personal and stick with me. Alright, sticking with you, taking a cast, feeling good about that. And uh, I like Sisyphus, but I want to go for the shop. Spent that money we got on hand in here. Sounds like Charon's breathing. Zeus, I go with Zeus. Zeus attack is also pretty, pretty good. That does work for me. Now Poseidon, he has a lot of interesting things he could be giving us. You and me, sneak. He has two duo boons, both of which I would be highly interested in. There you go, with the Demeter special, we finished him off. Razor Schultz. I don't think that special is gonna do much for us. Let's take the Razor Schultz for the debuff. Also, I think they buffed that. I think they may have buffed that. 15 damage per tick is actually quite a bit. Where are they? There they are. Now for you, big boy. And the next one who dares to show up is going to be blasted to bits. There you are. So guys, I've got a little bit of a question. Most of you guys who have been following me for the longest time, or at least have been aware that this game exists. What has been your favorite update so far? In terms of content added, how it evolved the game as a whole. What has been your favorite? I should have just rewrote that. I forgot that I can actually do that again. What has been your personal favorite overall? I think... I would probably say the Big Bad update has been my personal favorite. You know, introducing that big floor, bringing us the quote-unquote final boss fight that we were all waiting and hoping for. And there was a lot of added stuff that just made the entire game feel much more exciting. The Big Bad update for me, will always be the big hit. I don't even need the darkness. I'm not even kidding. I don't need the darkness. I don't need the darkness one bit. 
I don't have the slightest use for that stuff. There you go. Take these jokers out. More? More. Boom, baby. Oh, man. Explosive upper together with the damage aspect. Always a blessing. There you go. You know what? Let's try rerolling here. Thanks. Try one more reroll in here. I should not go on those single rooms that hard, but I wanted to see something nice. No, there's more enemies over here wanting to get a piece of me. Boom! Ah, oh, those explosive uppers are giving me life. Bunch of small numb scholarinas over here. Boom! And we get the blizzard shot. Let's go! Let's absolutely go. There's Athena again. Let's go for Athena. I won't mind getting her special in here because it has a pretty, pretty high damage multiplier. Here on Olympus is the opposite of everything about that lifeless squalor you reside in, Zagreus. Don't talk shit about my home. I live here. Appreciate the backup. All right, time for the sisters. Tisiphone again. It's Mac. Hey Meg. I heard that you escaped. And then what are you still doing here? Forget something along the way. Well, maybe I just wanted to see you again. You know. I think I'd rather fight you to the death again than try to answer either of those questions right now. I don't know what you're up to, Zagreus, but I guess it doesn't matter either way. All that matters is you're not getting past me. Okay. Talking business. I like it, girly. And that was a lot of damage right then and there. That wasn't as much damage. She still has her markers at the 25% moments. It's good to know. And now look at this. Boom, baby! <laughs> oh, I will keep going. I will also keep coming back, but for the moment I will keep going. Oh yeah, I should also pick up the gems in here. Those gems I still actually need. Oh man, I was so looking forward to finally having bought everything out of the shop, but no. I am still not quite there yet. Let's go for Poseidon or Azus, one of these jokers. Let's go for Poseidon first, I guess. Oh my god, look at that. I, I didn't notice that before. Look at how cute those icons actually look. <laughs> oh man, those are insane. Let's go for Azus first, actually. Okay. Um, We could use some healing, but not right now. Oh, great. I have to look at all of those That's chibi thingies thing. later down the line as well. They are very, very adorable. Those chibi icons. No. Ten minutes on the clock. We're looking fine. Don't really need this palm of power, but I guess we take it regardless, because the game is not really offering us much choice. And you know, big shout out to Athena. Girl has been showing up like crazy, and I do not mind that one bit. Because Athena, at this point, is pretty much... A welcome addition to almost anyone we can get our hands on. Now. Oh, Eurydice. We go for Eurydice. Actually, I also want to see Hermes. But we go for Eurydice. I want to talk to Eurydice about trees and stuff. Fruits and grains. And not being on a vegan diet because I do like to eat meat. Hey, what's the matter, your royal majesty? You're looking kind of down. Normally, you're all smiles for whatever reason. Oh, I... Well, looking back, all the stuff between you and Orpheus, I realized... Well, I, I hope I wasn't too pushy about the whole thing. It wasn't any of my business to pry into your personal life. I should have asked. That's true. Oh, that? Come on, don't even worry about it. If you were being too pushy, you better believe I would have put you back in your place. Royalty or not. But hey, can't ever be too careful when it comes to people's past and feelings and stuff, right? I absolutely agree on that front. And also, this was another line of dialogue we heard before, for sure. Also, 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 very happy about seeing my man Hermes in here again. Also, 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 also. I raised the question of who hired Skelly one of these episodes. I think it was actually the last episode, not too long ago. And what I didn't tell you is that someone apparently spoiled that to me. Apparently the answer to that has always been in the game, but we never saw it. Come with urgent tidings, boss. Unfortunately, not addressed to you. But someone got you these. Nice. 
We have never seen the answer to that, but I hope that at some point we will. Because I just I just want to know if it's true. That's, that's the main reason for me. I want to know if the answer that I was being given is true. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it, if you know it for sure. Keep it to yourself until we have seen it on video. Because I am very, very much waiting for that to finally come to fruition. Barge of death, you're here. I will not tell you who I heard is supposed to be the guy who ordered Skelly to do everything he did. What I will say though is that it kinda makes sense, but also raises up a lot of questions regardless. Oh, good. That's at least how I feel about that matter. Hold still, so I can kill you softly. There you go. Next up. Oh, perfectly lined up in here for all of my little shots. The dream. Took a bite out of me there. They did, didn't they? Now, Zuzi boy. I eagerly anticipate getting to meet you face to face someday, dear nephew. Not anytime soon. The jolted. Shocking. Much appreciated. We take this money so that we can buy something from the next shop. And then here we find you guys! I really hope we find the sea storm in here at some point as well, so we can also apply the jolt with this. Next up, next up, next up. Bring back my caster, put it into place. We are out of castones. Ooh, you! It will take a little while to get used to the idea that these guys can now explode all over me as well. After they bite the dust. But we'll get there in time. No. Damn it again. With the going. stubborn roots. I think we're probably better off getting the Ravenous Will in here. Even though the Arctic Blast is also very, very tempting. Alright, Learn Elias. Learn Elise. Learn is from Lernia. We are going to shoot a lot of lizard shots into you. He is making us feel those screams of his these days, man. There's a soul screen distortion going on there as well, and I love it. That's fine. I wanted to do that. That was my intention all along. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we go. Oh, my blizzard hurts like a truck. And I love it. A little bit. But let's be real here. Every room becomes a little bit harder with you in it, doesn't it? With that being said, I want to get out of here. Got you. Exploded on him. Fun fact, halfway through I just keep forgetting that I can't actually do those super specials. It's so easy to forget that every now and then. And he actually got another Death of Fines off me. He should have been dead there, but he wasn't. He lived on 1 HP. Lerny, you have earned my respect. Done bashing heads for now. Thanks for this, thanks for that. Lerny, with that, you have earned my respect. You have also earned a fist in your face, but you have mostly earned my respect there. The Hydra filled you with dead shit. Oh man, look at how cute the service icon is. My god, it's so adorable. And Achilles looking very, very smooth there. You know what kind of face it is? That is the kind of face that you make when you put your hands on someone's shoulder and say, Hey. That's exactly the kind of face. I was kind of expecting Hypnos to have his mask over his eyes. <laughs> Orpheus looks absolutely... Orpheus looks like an honest to god hippie. Who has been doing a little bit too much of stuff he should not have done. And, um, yeah, we have already used that one sadly. There's also one more keepsake apparently that we can earn in here somewhere. We haven't tried to give any to Persephone yet, have we? I don't think we have been able to do that in the first place, right? We have to double check that when we see her again. Now, we go for the Poseidon keepsake over here. We got no money. But that's okay, cuz... We will just earn ourselves some more. There's no way around Persephone not being able to give us a keepsake of some sort. There's just no way that we cannot get a keepsake from her. There's no way in hell. 
I refuse to believe that they would do us dirty like this. There you go. There you go as well. Don't even need to use my blizzard shot against the likes of you like this. Would be a waste of time. Boom. Now you, you were around using one of those. And there. Hermes coming in clutch with the, with the, with the. There's nothing too too fancy here. Let's be real. Let's take the swift strike. Now here goes. Will help us attack faster, which then in turn will help us get a little bit more of those fancy specials in on our enemies. Now this is a problem. This I hate. Also, I'm pretty sure I can't get those castles back over there. Hate to see it. Can't get this one back though. All gone, all done. Give it back to me. One shot him. And the swirl was enough to take him out too. Okay, can these problems please stop spawning in on me? Ain't nobody got time for this kind of baloney. Got my castles back there. And he was the last one, so he did not take the explosion damage. And they actually buffed the unshakable metal to 10% boss damage reduction. Looking forward to ignoring that all over again. For days and years to come. Yeah. Now, a golden opportunity for some re-rolls. Let's go. That's not going to give us the Poseidon Zeus Duo Boom, but it's going to give us a lot of amazing stuff regardless. Second wave. No, we take Typhon's Fury in here. I did not restore order to this world and claim the heavens for myself, only to be insulted by my own nephew. What for then? What did you do it for? What did your PR manager tell you? Will be an appropriate reason to claim that you have done all that, huh? I want to know the answer so that I know if hiring your PR agent may be worth it. All gun, all done. And through it all. Now, now, no need to hold such grudges any longer, I suppose. If you say so. Uh, lightning reflexes, billowing strength also always nice. But no, we take the lightning reflexes in here because it's fun. And then we probably go for the shop. Even though we still want to see Demeter in here. But I do hope that we will find some kind of money pot in your sack! You, that is probably the second next best thing we could have gotten in here. And sure, I take it. So I can sell it off in a moment. Also still on the lookout for our hammer. There's Asterius! Say, you're from Crete originally, aren't you, Asterius? I know this is a stretch, but... I don't suppose you ever heard of a commander by the name of Skelemius. Captain of the Cretan Second Fleet, something like that? Oh no, Zagris, you're not to go you're not going there. You're not going there, Zagris, are you? Oh Skelemius, Captain of the Cretan Second Fleet. We remember that guy, right? The King of Crete commanded the greatest navy of the world. Even I knew that. Having never seen the light of day, the ships, the sea. Skelemius, huh? I might have heard the name. So what? What? Skelemius was a real person then? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? It's nothing, Asterius. Shall we? Yeah, let's. Yes, let's. <laughs> oh, come on, Asterius! You and I! We're absolutely in sync here, aren't we? I like it. I love it. Give me more of that. Okay, so maybe there's a little bit of truth to every one of Skelemius's lies. Damn, music was so sick here, man. We have to have a few more talkings with a series like this in the future. In order to unlock a special something, we take the killing prison here. And sure, we can actually use some HP. We haven't gotten a single server, a center of hearts up until this point. Not a single one. And there's my man Patroclus for the free that finds us too. Oh, it seems we have Look a that. that will be me. Anything fancy to say? If you can make yourself at home in such a place, please do, stranger. That actually reminds me of the live stream we were doing the other day. I mean, we were, I don't even remember how we got there. 
But we were talking about cosplay. And um, I was talking about what characters I could more or less realistically pull off as a cosplayer. If I were to get a bit more muscle, of course, because everybody in this game is jacked. And um, my first calls were Dionysus and Patroclus. Probably because I really, really like those characters. But also because, you know, I got at least to some degree the necessary skin tone for those. So it would fit, you know, it would just fit. I guess I could also... These fists. Flying cutters so bad, no. I could probably also pull off Ares, but I don't like Ares. But yeah, on that front, we were discussing that. And I don't need the darkness. Oh, it's such a good thing to say. I don't need the darkness. So satisfying. Cold fusion, let's go. Um, And then I was like, okay, but here's the thing. If I were These to two. go... For Patroclus. Clash against the champion of Elysium and his most trusted friend. Yes. Make help. He called. I did do the calling, indeed. If I were to go for that pairing, I would absolutely need someone to also go as Achilles, because you know, one without the other, that's barely functional. But herein lies yet another problem. See, I really really like Patroclus an awful lot. But he and I, we are not into the same things. So, I would need to find myself, if I were to do that, which is probably not going to happen anytime soon. But if I were to do it, I would have to find myself a lovely lady who would be willing and able to pull off an Achilles cross-dress cosplay. If I would find that kind of person, I would be all up in games for that. I would absolutely pull that off. I feel like that would actually break some peers person's minds, but it would be hilarious. I would, it would be hilarious, I would love it. No, what do we go for next? We go for the acorn. Maybe Persephone will actually react to some of the keepsakes that we will bring up to her. Like, she has to react to an acorn. As a farmer, as an expert on all things related to botanical life. Maybe she will. But yeah, guys, if any, if any of the few, actually not that few, we actually have quite a few of those. If one of you female viewers is into cosplay and is interested in pulling off a stun like that, let me know. For up. I am not, not, not interested. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't even have to be me. Anyone who has been, a, who would be able to pull that kind of stuff off would be amazing. I'm pretty sure someone would be able to get offended by that idea itself, but before all of that would happen, it would be amazing. Now, next up, let's put in the blizzard shot out. Lots of small rats, but we do not care. No. By the way, I wasn't really looking out for that, but we have been fairly fast on this run too. This run has been going on for just over 10 minutes. And we got so much time left. It's actually kind of insane. Thanks for the assist, by the way. It is much appreciated. You're dead? You're dead. Get this guy out too. Nicely done. I want Poseidon to give me the sea storm. Just because, why not? Could pull that kind of stand up. What a wonderful world that will be. Thanks for all the monies over here. Poseidon's Wrath Effect always brings me so much happiness in my lives. And yeah, in between I forgot again that I can actually use my strong Dempter specials in here in between as well. Olympus, I, accept this message. I should not forget about that because it actually hurts quite a bit. Um, Wave Pony for the extra damage against bosses. And Athena may also be useful. Always a pleasure, Charon. Deathless stand. Let's get the Holy Shield. We do not have a lot of HP. We should maybe do something about that at some point in the future. Me, but not right now. Authority. There's Zeus again. I want to see my man Zeus again. Demeter may also still have some sweet, sweet surprises for us. 
So that's definitely something we should be on the lookout for. <coughs> and I think we actually got quite a few gods in here as well. Quite a few gods, quite a lot of boons. Look at that selection, man. We are super stacked. Hey there, you guys. The game was pretty, pretty generous to us, all things considered. But it could still give us a little bit more. A tiny, tiny bit more. And ever so tiny, tiny, sly bit of extras. Got the cutter up and ready. Stepped into the trap for no good reason. Took that bit of poison damage there for no good reason. He died to the trap for no good reason. A lot of things happening in here right now for no good reason at all. He died for a very, very good reason. That reason being me putting my fist into his face and the sea storm. Let's go. Feels good. Feels very, very good. And that fish is going to belong to us in a moment. There you are. A scuffle. That's 40 gems. We need those. I'm going to buy the anvil, if I can, for one reason, one reason only. It's going to be an extra boon that I can have in my list. Put those out, put those out. So quite a big chunk of damage there, but that's okay, because we are still in business and we are still looking for some trouble. Boom, baby. Man, I'm looking forward to see what the hammer will get us. Or the anvil, rather. These jokers stand no chance. That trap, though, hurt like a truck. Still not quite done yet. Should be getting closer to that. Should be getting closer. Still not done. Still not done yet. Well, we were going a little bit too, too fast, I guess. Don't bite me. Don't bite me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't bite me now. Seriously, guys, don't bite me. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Not even for fun in my free time. Got the poison out of our system. There's a bunch of small rats, and they are all In out now. Arctic Blast is gonna be nice. I take that. Oh, come on. I don't know what that oh come on was all about. Apparently something annoyed Zagreus there for a little bit, but I have no idea what that could have been. No, Andal time. Reaching cross, concentrated knuckle and heavy knuckle. That's actually very, very bad, because now we will get much, much less... Uh, super specials out. But what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do about it? We just have to live with the consequences. And we should also, you know, on the topic of living, make an honest to god effort out of living without losing a death of fights before we find the Satya sack. Which is hopefully gonna happen sooner rather than later. Sooner? Sooner. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks for the healing. Gracefully accepted. And we have enough money to buy this HP. I would rather have the HP than the big bomb. Fang bearing Cerberus directs all three of his attentions toward the Sator Sack. I hope you're gonna enjoy your snack. I wanted to see something. Okay, shame. I wanted to see if Cerberus. I don't know who it was. Someone made a suggestion and I absolutely second it. I made the suggestion later myself. Someone suggested that Cerberus should go over here and cheer on a Sator Sack there after you give it to him. That will make for a reasonable explanation as for why you can't enter the rest of the hallways after giving him the sack. And it would also look much, much cooler and very, very cute in comparison to him just leaving. I would like that. Father. You were never supposed to live. 
took all of Nyx's strength to circumvent what should have been a certainty. Now you cannot stay dead. Such is the wry humor of the fates. Interesting. So Sagrius was actually dead, but Nyx did what she could to save him, which is probably part of the reason why I'm so half dark. Nyx saved me. So, according to the fates, I was never meant to be born, since neither you nor Mother are of the underworld, something like that? Or was it just another lie you told to Mother and whoever else? Bah, you think everything a lie. The realm beneath our feet was appointed to me on certain conditions, not that I had much of a choice. Among them, a one-time surface dweller such as I would never have an heir. Uh-huh. You really believe that? Then why attempt to have a child anyway? Well, maybe they weren't doing it for the purpose of getting a child out of it. Maybe they were just, you know, having fun about it or something like that. You don't know anything. Why anyone would choose to have a child is a mystery to me. The fate said I would never have an heir. Perhaps this was all they meant. Oh, that's harsh. Well, we shall see to that. Oh man, those effects are so sick. I will not get sick of those anytime soon. That's a daddy grand promise right then and there. Heed me, wretches, on my yeah, heed him, heed him. Heed him for he needs all the help he can get. Yeah, say darn as much as you want. Hide away to the best of your ability. We are pretty pretty strong and he is not regenerating. There you go. Destroy the stone. Destroy those casting witches over here. And there is my call. We got the sea storm going on, so every crash we do, we keep that lovely privilege status online for that sweet, sweet expert damage. And there we are. Brought this puny death god down to his knees one more time. Not yet. Not quite yet. Come on, Hades. You can keep on going a little more, right? By the way. No! Hang on, didn't I pick up the... Didn't I pick up the unshakable metal on this run? I wanted to be smug about it, I wanted to step in the trap and be like, Yeah, here, look at me, I don't care about your traps. Not even a little bit. No, you know what? We saw it, and then I left it behind regardless. I think that's how it was. And he's dead. Not escape. None of us can. Oh, but I will keep trying, Hades. You know that. You know that. There we go. Big shopping trip, too. Haven't seen tiles in here for quite a while. Thanks for the gems. Thanks for the darkness. Ah, oh, it's so it's so satisfying to not hear the narrator talk as soon as we leave that place. Await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, then onward through the cold. Oh, there's a fishing point too. There's a fishing point. No, oh, a sturgeon. Wow, a sturgeon. The f chef will love that. I'm here. Hello here, I'm Daddy DeGrand. Sagrius. Yes, it is I. And she still has more lines of dialogue left open for us. There's nothing else to see here. I keep checking every nook and cranny for as long as I have to. And we still can't give her anything. It's a shame, but so be it. I discovered how come father led you to believe that I could not survive past birth. He didn't lie to you exactly. So he says. Wait, slow down, Sagrius. What do you mean? He told me you would not survive your birth, yet here you are. How wasn't that a lie? Well, technically. Because he thought it was the truth. The fates appointed him dominion over the entire underworld, but he would never have an heir, so he was led to understand. He never expected me to be born, much less survive. He never expected you to survive? Then, forgive my asking, but why did you? How did you? The fates are not known for making mistakes when it comes to such things. Well, here's the thing. That may be true, but Nyx is still their mother, right? Nyx saved my life. Or gave me life, I guess. Then raised me in your absence. The fates are her daughters, right? Maybe she persuaded them to go easier on me. She cannot say more. 
In any case, apparently it took her quite a while to revive me, and by then you were gone. Nix. Of course she was involved. I only managed to escape because of her. Then she restored my stillborn son to life and nurtured him? And I never would have known unless that child, fully grown and having learned the truth, defied his father and then found me here. I got a feeling that Zagreus is going to feel unwell right now. Yes, although we still don't uh, know how come father and Nyx never sent for you. Though... Uh, there we go. Let me ask you something, mother, if you please. If you had found out that I was born and very much alive, would you have come back? I feel like that question does not need to be asked. Would I have come back to see my only child? Had I but known you lived, I would have gladly gone through hell again to see you, Zagreus. Of course I would have. Well, you wouldn't have exactly had to go through hell. You would have had to go to hell. But I get what you mean, Gertie. Well then, what if... Uh, what if father didn't want you doing that? What if he didn't want me coming back to him? Or seeing you? Oh no, you're fading again, Zagreus. You've pushed yourself too hard. But what is it you meant by what you said? Well, more for next time, it's I guess. a hunch of mine. We I still stay by the point oh. that there's more going on in the background. That was not a Terminator reference, right? Him going down there was saying, I'll be back. Leave, didn't he? Hey, where's Hypnos? Hypnos is gone. You are trapped. I'm not trapped, I'm Zagreus and you are Hades. So, you can tell me in due time if you decide to, lad. But I do have a question, same as you did, going into this. Why did she leave? Why did she leave you in particular? It's that she didn't even know I was alive. Sounds as though Nyx revived me sometime after I was born, but by that point, Mother had already left, and they let her be, for reasons I am trying to find out. Ah, that's quite a bit to take in there. And it explains more than a bit, I think. Look, I'm not one to speculate too much. I trust you'll find the answers that you seek as you proceed. I am... Yes, Here's the thing. I am very unsure about how the timeline and all of that works. Just think. Just think about it for a moment. Persephone gets the child. And thinks that it is dead. But Nyx is using her voodoo magic trying to uh, keep and make Zagreus alive. And none of that in any way, shape, or form was, first of all, recognized by Persephone until the point she left, or by anyone else in the house. Like, for example, we know that Thanatos was aware of Persephone existing. Ah, okay, they, they always played it like Nyx was Hades' mother, but they, there's, so, there's a lot of points that do not quite line up there that I'm questioning. I told you, boy. I told you. There's no escape from here. Learn that the hard way, then. You could have told me more important things. Mother left because she never even knew I was alive, thanks to you. She's got a lot of questions herself, as you can probably imagine. I'm headed back to her. You're going to cooperate? <laughs> Nonsense. Listen to me. If you have any sense remaining in that head of yours, I caution you not to discuss this here and now. Let me go. Let me find her. She demands it. No. I'll hear no demands from you. Well, you just heard a demand. You said no to it, but you still heard it. Another big question is... Oh, I can think of plenty of things, but let me finish my train of thought here. Another question is, why isn't Persephone coming back down here now? I feel like that is probably one of the biggest questions. Here's the catch of the day. What do we get for the sturgeon, though? We actually got a time blood for that. That's huge. Meg, did you... Did you ever meet the queen? Remember anything about her at all? What queen do you mean? It was not my place to address her. I barely ever saw her. Then at some point, I never saw her again. And unlike you, I know better than to get involved in things that are none of my business. Oh, passive aggressive, I like it. How is it that this place has this secret queen for I don't know how long, then suddenly she just vanishes and no one speaks a word of it? 
Okay, I, I was goofing there for a moment. You know, Persephone, in my head space, she's always... She is having the tag of being the mother. I completely excluded that she is also basically, for a while, the queen of the underworld. None of my business, I said. The prince! Miss Nix! She... I... I'm not supposed to talk to you. I have to go. That sounds like a line of dialogue that should not be playing anymore. Also feels like a line of dialogue we would have had before, too. Nix, you saved my life. Gave me life when I was born. Father told me. I don't know what to say. Why didn't you tell me? There are many things that I am not at liberty to speak of, child. Through my own binding choice. These circumstances are among them. Suffice it to say that your revival required the extent of my ability and considerable time. How much time, though? I never should have been born. Is that what the fates wanted? Did you defy your own daughters? Silence. Tempt not my daughters thus. Mm. Thank you Nyx me. does not get angry easily. Okay, you know what? Here's another theory. It's probably not going to be through, but here's another theory. It's not going to be through. Not in any kind of way. But here's another theory for you guys. What if Zagreus is actually still not Persephone's child? What if the Zagreus that she would have known, Persephone would have known, actually died? And this Zagreus that we are playing over here has been created the old-fashioned way by Hades and Nyx. And is actually their child and their child alone. That will still open up a lot more questions, but it's actually a little bit more probable if you think about it like that, right? Skelly, or should I say Skelemius? I happen to have a chat with somebody familiar with that name. Large, bull-headed fellow originally from Crete. You said you made it all up. What's going on? Never said I made it up, pal. I just knew you weren't gonna believe me. I mean, look at me. I look like a captain at a Cretan second fleet to you? I don't know. I've never met one. But they all just stand around doing nothing. <laughs> Good one. Well, sounds like somebody's never had to lead like 50 or something sailors in a voyage across the sea in a Minoan galley with nothing but the stars to guide them. What do you think the captains do? Pull the oars? Wait, what about Hermes? He gave me the impression you might have been somebody else. Nobody in particular. Not some great sea captain. I haven't seen that line of dialogue. Or if I've seen it, I've forgotten it. But I don't forget this kind of stuff. What is it with you gods talking behind the backs of all your friends, boyo? Don't change the subject. <laughs> Don't change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you won this one, Skelly. But we'll come back for this one. We will come back for this, Dunn. I'll be back in the next episode, guys. But until then, thanks for watching. I am still not satisfied. I still want more answers, and I have to pay those answers with blood, time, and effort. Which I will gladly do. For you guys, but also for myself. Until then, have the greatest of days, and please stay as awesome as you are.